Okay, so I decided not to cut the grass. I really want to get these forts done, and it's probably going to rain in a couple hours. Well, it is what it is. Um, before we begin here, clean the forks real good. Actually went over them. You can see that uh, satin finish. Went over them with a, uh, the red scotch bride again, and then we taped off anything that we don't want to get painted. And basically, I'm taping off uh, I'm making them even, so wherever the brush came up on this one, I matched it up to this one. That way they'll look uh, uniform, even though you'll never see that part. Still in my mind, uh, you know, I know it's there, but they'll look uniform. Uh, so this one, you know, obviously there's no rust in this area, but this one had rust. So I measured off, taped them, and you can also see the inside of the forks here. I, I stuffed with paper towels because I don't want any paint getting on the, the good part of the fork legs at all. Uh, again, all the way down to here, you know, I'm still not even close to touching the seal because the seal is not till right here. So there's, even though there's all that pitting right there on this one, there's no chance of that affecting the seals or anything like that. So also taped off the ends here. You can see that. Uh, wiped them down real good and now they're ready to go. So again, we're using the self etching primer here. Um, and I've got this little stand set up. I can't hang, you know, well, I can hang them up on the bottoms over there, which I will probably do. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to do these fork legs. Uh, we're going to do these first. And, you know, I've got enough room on this little uh, stand for those. So I'm just going to do the fork legs for now, or for this run. And then we'll hang them up, and then we'll do the, the other. So I'm just going to do them in a, a couple passes here. Make sure it's good and Pick it up. Again, just like everything else, 10, 12 inches or so. Of course, I immediately get it on my thumb. I might end up doing the whole thing hanging. But this is a little better for the video. So I'm just going to do one coat of the self-etching primer, just enough to, to cover everything, and then uh, turn these tubes. There we go. And then the uh, we're not going to do a whole lot of coats on the actual of the, the finished color on the actual tubes because you got to remember I still have to put uh, the triple clamps over them, and I still have to put uh, what else do I have to put over them? Uh, the the clip-ons. So there's probably going to be some touch-up that I'm going to have to do once everything's said and done, but that's just the way it is. So those are all covered. One, uh, that one decent coat. It looks like it dries really quickly. So we'll let that dry, and then I'm going to hang them up, and then we'll do the rest of them, and uh, then we'll lay on some, uh, lay on some uh, of the base coat. So stay tuned. Okay, the forks are they're hanging there. Got everything important out of the garage, DT-80's out, uh, grandson's uh, little Jeep's out, seats are out for the BMW. So nothing that uh, I'm worried about is going to get any overflow on it. Um, it's funny though, you, th you, you, know, you think about a frame being heavy. The frame on this bike's not very heavy. These two forks, these front forks, are heavier than the frame. You see I'm using two bungees on each one. So these combined are definitely heavier than the frame. But I'm going to do the lower sanctions here now. I'm just doing the whole thing in the etching primer because there is some chrome right there. Um, the bottoms I could probably get by with just that regular, but rather than use two different kinds of primer. And the tubes, I can hold them, they're already dry. And literally it's been two minutes, if that, whatever it took to, for me to come over and hang these up. So again, just about 10 inches. We're just going to do one decent coat um, of this primer. That's all we need. We don't need two coats or anything like that. And the key to uh, you know these forks, obviously, is clean, clean, clean. Get a toothbrush in every little nook and cranny, and there are plenty of them. Um, and even though I, I suck at painting, I mean, one thing I do know is it's all about the prep. And you get a good base on there, good uh, sanding, you know, something for it to stick to, and you got them clean, and you'll be okay. So I'm going to finish the rest of these up, 
and then uh, we'll come back and start throwing down some of the uh, the flat black. So stay tuned. It's been about a minute or so. We're going to uh, let this tack up some more. You can see it's still got a little bit of shine to it. Uh, whereas right here, see how it looks like an army gray. So up there it's still a little wet, but hey, so far they look good, even in the primer. They look like new. So we'll let that finish drying, and then we'll come back with that uh, flat black to see what it looks like. See you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Um, it's been about 10 minutes, maybe a little less, and we're ready to start throwing down some uh, of the VHT uh, roll bar paint. This is the uh, this is the flat. So it's not too flat. It's just uh, it's not a gloss. It's not really a semi gloss, but it's just kind of flat. And just like everything else, just. We're going to do some real light coats on this one. Got to go all the way down the fork because. And we'll uh, finish these up. We'll come back after the uh, first coats are done. So, see you soon. Okay, we've got our first light coat on. Now we're going to start putting a little heavier. And uh, I don't know how many we're going to do. We'll, we'll see what it looks like plate by ear. See, I'm just going a little slower. And more of a solid stream, whereas before I was kind of, um, you know, just shooting it here and there. Still about the same distance. We'll finish these up and then we'll come back and uh, we'll actually show you what the final coats look like. I'll probably I'll t let you know then how many I'm going to put on, but uh, just varies, so stay tuned. Okay, we are done. I ended up with four coats. You still see it's pretty shiny right now. It will dry more of a matte finish. But I just wanted to give you a look at the last couple coats are pretty thick. And you want to put it on so it's almost ready to run, but it's not running. That's worked best for me. If I can get this thing to focus, you can see right here it's starting to dry. More of a matte finish. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there, in the crevice there. Um, they are done. We'll let them sit for you know about a week. Then we'll pull off the tape and see how they look. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this one. It's about 6:40, 6:30, 6:30, I think. So. After I got all the mowing stuff out and all that, you know, it took a while. But I think I'm still going to end up mowing. Not that that matters to anyone. So, might as well try to get it done today so I don't have to get it done another day. And we'll see. Depends on how I feel. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.